Hi, and welcome to Frasher Talks. My name is Tint, and today we're going to talk about the components of the Frasher Track Vacancy System, FTVS. FTVS is a non-vital axle counting system consisting of three components, the wheel sensor counting board, WCB, the wheel sensor signal converter, WSC, and the wheel sensor RSR110, which is a non-vital wheel sensor. For further details about the wheel sensors, I highly recommend to watch the Frasher Talk season about Frasher wheel sensors. We now have a closer look at the WSC, which is part of the indoor equipment. The WSC converts the sensor analog output to digital system one and system two, which is used to feed into the WCB for axle counting. For further details about sensor signals, please see the season on the wheel detection. The WSC is configured using dip switches, which are located on the front of the board. They are normally all set to off for use with the WCB as part of the FTVS. The dip switches enable to configure parameters such as system digital pulse output, direction, and center pulse length, which are all provided via optocouplers. There are two WSC outputs that can be configured for use with FTVS. One output is used as system digital pulse input to the WCB for axle counting, and the second output can be used in combination for direction information or center or gate pulse. It is also possible to use the second pair of system outputs of the WSC to act as a shared sensor for two track sessions. We will now take a look at the WCB, the second component of the indoor equipment. The WCB is also configured using dip switches, but they are located on the rear side of the board. The WCB has notable features such as a front panel display and a reset button. The number of axles within the current track section are displayed on the display of the WCB. Furthermore, in case of any error, error codes are displayed on the front panel as well, indicating partial traversing, permanent occupancy, or negative axle count or axle overflow. For further details of the FTVS interfaces, please see the episode on FTVS interfaces. The dip switches of the WCB enable configuration parameters, such as the direction inversion of the wheel sensors, the number of connected sensors, partial traversing limit, WCB output behavior, and the occupied status extension time. The WCB has two outputs which can be used to output clear or occupy information twice, or can be used as one clear or occupy information and one error output. This completes the video of the FTVS components. Thank you for watching and see you soon at Frasher Talks.